Hey everyone, welcome back to Denise Budgets. Welcome if you are new and if you're a returning subscriber, hey, how are you doing? So on this channel, you can find everything cash stuffing, saving challenge, budget breakdowns, and other miscellaneous things. So first I'm gonna start this video out by doing a mini life update. So um, I did recently do a giveaway and I did have to choose a new giveaway winner, as you guys know. Um, the new giveaway winner still hasn't reached out to me yet so honestly i'm not going to choose another giveaway winner i'm just probably going to keep this stuff for myself if i don't get an email um i did comment to that person to email me but they still have not done that yet so i will see how that goes and maybe i'll make it a self-care binder but um i did just celebrate my 25th birthday so that's part of the reason why i have not been like uh filming and putting out content and I don't even want to kind of make that excuse, but I was sick. Um, I did travel twice in the month of September. So I was just basically gone a lot of this month. So I did not have a lot of time to film. I wish I did film like to have videos already out for you guys. But life was just moving so fast that month. And so many things were happening. Family in the hospital. To me getting sick. To me traveling twice this month. Celebrating my birthday. So I was pretty much gone um i did still budget so i still did have money that i did but i don't even want to put old videos up um that i did wind up filming late because it already is october so i was just like i'm just gonna start the month fresh because it's this whole entire month because my goal really with the channel is consistency like i said before but today i'll be doing a budget breakdown for october paycheck number one i only do like i told you guys on my first one i only get paid twice a month the first and the 15th so this is money that i have left over after budgeting um i might budget more money because it was my birthday and i did get money so i might you know add more into the videos as things go but this is just like after my paycheck and guys i am so sad i don't know if y'all started y'all student loan payments but i started mine and i when i saw the bill i was just like okay <laughs> so i did make that first payment i would be stuffing a decent amount more but i did make my first student loan payment from school which i was not excited to pay because i wanted that student loan forgiveness but we are going to get into this video and as you will see I'm i will not be stuffing a lot of my envelopes this go around i will because i'm putting larger amounts in certain places and then i'll figure it out as i go if i do decide to add more money when i do budget and i'll just let you guys know why i am doing that so let's get into it spending is getting zero because I spent so much money and even before budgeting i was like i'm budgeting for this month and it's today is october 7th i already did spend a little bit of money so this is a little bit less and yeah i don't need to spend nothing else eating out is getting zero gas is gonna get 40 dollars um i am actually you know what let me zoom in for you guys so push these binders back here um my savings challenge here is going to get three dollars um this is gonna get nothing nothing as of right now it's getting nothing so i don't even want to even put it on here Oh, I just messed that up, but it's okay. If I do saving challenge, it's going to get $5. Like Friday, it's going to get nothing. Bingo, nothing. 2023 saving challenge, I told you guys I'm taking that into 2024 with me because I just did not do well with that. Honestly, I've been trying to pay down a lot of debt, and I should probably do a debt confession video, but I just haven't. But I'm just paying down um, old credit card debt. Like, I took this MCAT. <laughs> this is so crazy to say. I took this MCAT course, and I basically put it on... Um, a PayPal credit line because it's just so much money and you know you only get six months to pay off and then part of that time I was working and part of that time I wasn't working so I'm still paying that down so it has accrued a decent amount of interest and you guys do know that I am trying to apply to med school and become a medical doctor but um yeah so I still have that so I'm still paying that down because at the time when I wasn't working for quite a bit of time I was only able to put like minimum payments to it so now I'm just trying to pay it down more and then I do have like other miscellaneous credit card debt that I need to pay um so I am probably going to put a lot of these saving challenges to that and to saving for med school. As you guys know, I said your price is quite hefty. And I literally was calculating the money the other day based off of people who applied this cycle to go to med school in 2024. The price of the first application and applications after that, I'm rounding about to about $2,500. So I'm trying to save $2,500 by May. Um, I don't know. My parents might help me, but I just really want to try to save that by myself. Um, so yeah, that was a little side note. So zero is here. My mini emergency fund is going to get nothing. And then um, mini debt is going to get ten dollars as usual and also i'm going to add this here i did take money from out of my manifest saving challenge because i got braids done as for my birthday and they were you know pricey whatever but i didn't have all i was going to go to the bank and get the rest but sometimes when i'm paying cash and i have the money in my envelopes i do take extra money from out of other places um i put i had extra cash i had cash in my wallet so i put money back that i already took from other envelopes so i'm just going to add plus 25 here which will just make this 28 but it's not really a part of my paycheck that i was budgeting from i'm just putting that money back um so yeah and then here for toiletries, toiletries is going to get $6. Car maintenance is going to get 
Date night is going to get zero dollars. Fitness is going to get zero dollars. <clears throat> Fun, zero dollars. Self care is going to get thirty dollars. Okay, so I got these nails for my birthday, and I'm absolutely in love with them. If you guys, I hope you guys can see well on the camera. My lighting is <laughs> not the best because the sun was out, but it's getting ready to rain where I'm at. So yeah, um, and I really want to do fall nails. I don't celebrate Halloween or any of those things, but the fall nails that people are getting or in Halloween fairy nails are so freaking cute. So I'm trying to decide like what I want to do. I'm thinking about like some pumpkins or nails. Give me some nail ideas in the comments if you get your nails done. Um, birthday. I am going to start saving for birthday again soon because I'm really trying to go big for 26. <laughs> um, but for right now, I am going to use this envelope for other people's birthdays. Um, and I'm saving for most of my birthdays in 2024. But birthday is going to get $6. So this is not just for my birthday as of right now. I am going to be budgeting for other people's birthday with this envelope as well. Clothes and shoes is going to get zero. Perfume is going to get zero. And I am going to start budgeting for this again soon. Perfume because I want to try Dossier. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. But it's basically luxury perfumes. Um, like, they remake luxury perfumes, like, their own twist on it, but a cheaper price. Like, I don't know if you ever heard of, like, Baccarat, 540 is, like, $300, but they, like, make their own twist on the scent, and it's 50 So, like, stuff like that. And I'm not paying $300 for no perfume, so I will go with a cheaper version, <laughs> and many people use them, and they say the smell smells is very similar to that. Um, Beauty is going to get $10. Yes, it's going to get $10. Christmas is going to get $10, because I need to be... Saving for that, luxury is going to get zero dollars. Moving out is going to get ten dollars. Vacation is going to get zero. And as you guys know, I don't even save money in this because I have this vacation saving challenge, and I really need to get on it. Because it's summer twenty twenty four, I'm trying to go on lots and lots of trips. I'm trying to go to Jamaica. Honestly, this one of the trips that I really really want to go on next summer, and we all different are trying to plan that. So that's something that I really want to do. And as y'all know, if you want to do top of the line vacations, that can be expensive. We're both going to save for it, but I just you know want to do my part as well. Retirement is going to get zero dollars, and that school is going to get thirty. I'm not gonna do this math in my head today like I usually do, but this is 40. This makes eight, so that's 18. This should be 46. I might be off, but I think I'm right. Um, so three plus 25 plus five plus 10. So did I miss something? Nope, it's 43. I was off by three. Exactly. This is why we use calculators. Um, cause I added 28 as a total here. Exactly why we use calculators, guys. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to add this up. So 6, 10, 30, 6. I need to get, like, one of those cute calculators, honestly. 6, 30, 40. So that's a total of $122 plus 40 plus 43 is a total of $205, which we have there. So I um, hit the perfect amount. It is $205 here total that I'll be stuffing for the first two paychecks of October. And I might add extra money to this, guys. I just have not decided yet. Um, but please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope everyone is doing well in their September as well. Um, and October is an even better month. I can't wait to catch up on all the guys' videos because I have not even been watching cash stuffing videos and you know, being a good member of the budgeting community by watching videos. Life has just been so hectic and busy that I just have not been doing that. But I want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, supporting me, and all those things. And have a good rest of your Saturday. Bye!